Previously on Drake Paragon. So that's us here at radio calling a boat. It would be a lot better if we were turned around. It just cannot be maneuvered in reverse. That rock, that iceberg, really windy. We need to do the turn before they get here. Give us more reverse, more reverse. Oh, reverse, reverse. While waiting at the weather station for the next weather window to sail away from Greenland, we would meet another sailboat named Wappen von Bremen III. How would you pronounce that? B-E-R-N-D? Berned? Berned. That's his name. I don't know if... Who, the German guy? Yeah, I have his card. Ooh. My girlfriend keeps up with these things. Mm, that's awesome. Oh, and the, remember, the other guy's name was Yannick. Yep, it is Yannick. He's a smoker. You know the reason I remember that? You remember, I told you my little memory trick. Remember, he's Janet Jackson, but decided to become a man, so he's Yannick. <laughs> <laughs> Yannick Jackson? Or Yannick Jackson, because he's or from man. Germany? He has no idea. <laughs> we met him on the 28th of July in, in Bamut. Bamut. The German who roughed it up to us, and he spilled red wine on the deck. You wrote that. I did, because I knew that we would remember him. Like, do you remember the German guy? Uh, you know the one who kind of roughed it up to us? Uh, the guy that spilled wine. Oh, yeah, him. <laughs> yeah. I bet, uh, well, uh, Caroline, very nice to know. I wonder what size boat they have. I hope it's not big. It's pretty small. What do you guess? What size do you guess? Is this like a jelly bean thing? Yeah, I guess the size of the thing with the thingy. Hey Drake! Yo! We're guessing the size of the German boat. What do you think? They didn't say, did they? No. What are you guessing? This is the guess the jelly bean thing. I'm guessing bigger. You think bigger? Yeah. You think big fat funny German boat? I do think so, yeah. Mm. What about you? Because the... Yeah? What are you saying? Because? Well, because it was like, she sounded like an older woman. Oh, women love that. <laughs> Drake, do you want some green stuff? No, thank you. Because I was going, all right, well, I'm, I'm going to... Put gonna, more in, put more in, put more Jeez. water in. I'm going to pour half of this out. No, put more water in it. No, I put more no, I don't have room. Do you look, there's all that space. That'll make such a difference. Try it, put water in How it. How many cups of coffee have you had? I haven't. <laughs> oh, Jesus, we're in trouble. Can I, um... No. Squishlet. No. Squishlet. I am in the middle of a very, very delicate operation here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Hold on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do ten things at once. Alright, I'm going to listen to my podcast. If this starts getting too loud or too annoying, let me know, guys, because... I know I lived with my sister when she was learning guitar, and I wanted to murder her. <laughs> That's not like you're learning violin or anything. You know this song. I am a vampire, 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 I am I've lost my pen. <laughs> 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 that was good. About when the uh, the brain surgeon rocked up to a, a dinner party, and, and uh, so he goes and he's introducing himself to everybody. He's just like, "Oh, hi, how's it going? How's it going?" And then uh, people start chatting and they start talking about uh, their job. And he goes, "Oh, so what do you do? So what do you do?" And they're like, "Oh, I work in accounts." And he goes, "Hmm." It's not exactly brain surgery. <laughs> and then he meets another woman and she's just like, Oh, I'm a, I'm a taxi driver. And, she, and he's just like, Oh, that's nice, but it's not exactly brain surgery. And then the host of the party comes in and she introduces this other guy. And uh, he, uh, the, guy, the other guy explains, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I work for NASA. I work for NASA. And uh, uh, that guy 
from NASA asks the fellow, so what do you do? He's just like, oh, I'm a brain surgeon. He goes, well, it's not exactly rocket science, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you? Yes. Must have just come. Let's get out. What did you say? Oh, I said 33. 33? 38? And you're at 40 what? Five? Us? We're 42 on deck. No. The German boat. I know what we oh, are. Oh, I'm saying 45. Okay. There we go. We'll see. So here we are at the weather station, and we've been listening to the VHF and, uh, we have heard that there's a German boat that's coming to the weather station from uh, Prince Christian's son. We've heard them say that their plan is to go to Iceland. They're looking to dock for the night and visit the station and get some weather information. And they're coming in right now. So we are going to help them probably raft up to Paragon. And that's why we move the boat around as well, which will make it easier for us to get out of here if they are tied to us. Whereas the other way we'd have to turn around and be much harder. And look at the seals. Yeah, smoke away obstacles. Rocks, icebergs, or seals. Take your I see okay. two on the bow. They look pro. Four on deck, one in the cockpit. Big fenders, tiny anchor. Uh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up? That's while approaching Prince Christian Sun Weather Station. This is a sailboat, and you can wrap up to us. Over. You didn't say your name. Thank you. Do you think we should come alongside your boat? Over? Yes. Uh, yes, you can come alongside our boat. No problem. We'll help you with lines or help in any way. Over. Okay, thank you very much. We do so. Over. Stand by zero then. Do you think that iceberg's grounded again? It kind of looks like it, is it? I think it is. It's been there for a couple of hours. Yeah. It's going to be a very bad story, Spartox. I may have caught a single one at the league on my camera. Einlenken. Stop. Und stop. This one is a spring, please. Spring line, okay. Yeah. Great. Wunderbar. Not a crew to say hello. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. 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 Hi, Michael. Where do you come from? Hey, I'm from the United States, and my crew, Anna, is from Dublin, Ireland, oh, and good. my girlfriend, Monique, is from Montreal, Canada. I'm from Boston. Boston. Yeah, only three. Only yeah. three. Yeah. We are trying to decide between sailing straight to Iceland or to Ireland. Fauer, Shetland, Orkney. Yeah. Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the weather station people are very nice. They do offer wireless internet access at the station. There's seven dogs, and if they've never seen you before, they'll bark like crazy, but they won't bite. If you walk up the stairs to the top, yes. the dogs will follow you and bark at you. But it's, it's, and they're very noisy, but they're okay. They're effective doorbells. <laughs> oh yes, and it's 287 steps. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's moved quite a bit since I just went down. Yeah. He's definitely underway. 
and he's the biggest thing we've seen come in here so far. I had a couple of uh, icebergs just constantly knocking up against the sides. Really? Put them in a pot so we'd be able to drink them. <laughs> Hot, so. Anna's got drinks. Like iceberg, iceberg, and then this. What's that? It's a hat. You <laughs> found that in the water? Yeah, it was like knocking. It. It's knocking against the thing. Oh, uh, I wonder where that thing came from. Maybe somebody fell into the ice oh, years no. ago, died. That's the only thing that's left. Of them. <laughs> if I find a jacket, I know I'm sure. Did you sleep well? Well, until about half four. That's when the ice the hit. Yeah. The Germans woke up too when it happened. Were you all out on deck at four in the morning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're all watching that guy. I'm gonna put some this guy just broke off from the larger guy over there and started drifting this way. I don't know if there's enough space in between this boat and the rocks over there to push him through. As a matter of fact, I don't think so. Maybe if it can just go over there and stay there, that would be good. It really spans out underneath the water line. It goes all the way out there. And all the way over to there, so it's much larger underneath the water. Looks like it might be coming this way. I'll get a boat pole, just in case as well. I'll put some shoes on. While we were all watching the iceberg and trying to figure out what to do, Ana ran onto the pier and came back with the iceberg pushing sticks that sailing vessel Relax had left on the pier. Can we give back the wood? Yeah, of course. Oh, no. Good luck to you. Thank Good you luck for to your you. assistance. Maybe we'll see you in Reykjavik. Keel boats are much more maneuverable in reverse. You can steer them like a truck in reverse, but uh, Paragon is not like that at all. With her huge full keel, she just cannot be maneuvered in reverse. Kind of gives you an idea of what you see above water and what you don't see. That thing is huge. 
Look how much he spans out under the water. The one thing that's gone through my mind that's worrying me a little yeah, yeah. is that if this is melting, yeah. this is gonna imbalance it and then it's gonna flip. It's gonna calve. Like flip, like the whole thing. Like. Yeah, yeah, right here in the harbor, right yeah, next yeah, to yeah, us. Which, which, could, which would mean there'd be a lot of force when it comes up. It came up this way, mm -hmm. and it put a hole in the boat basically. Piece off, don't you? I know you do. <laughs> if I knock this whole thing over, I know. Watch the whole thing flip. Oh, you oh, missed. Oh, 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 oh. I'll read Two, three. Oh. <laughs> when the tide goes down and that thing's right there. Because I think we're pretty much at high tide now. So you can see here in this picture how close it is to the wind vane water. 